Gran Turismo 7 is finally out, and you know what that means? Whether you're a seasoned driver or a racing game noob, it's time to go need for speed and leave everything out on the racetrack. If you're more of a Mario Kart player, you might think that Gran Turismo is a lot more racing hardcore, but that's exactly what this game is all about, to give racing fans the most realistic racing experience possible. If you're new to Gran Turismo's realistic racing simulator, then you might find this game pretty daunting. But even if you're not a seasoned racer, this new game might give you some problems at first. But don't worry, this is where I come in. Hi, I'm Sarah from Gamebyte, and here are 7 tips and tricks you might need to know in Gran Turismo 7. But before we get into the video, if you want to see more gaming content, be sure to subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and turn on the notifications to not miss another video from us. Number 1. Finish your menu bucks. If you didn't know this already, the whole campaign of the game is based around menu bucks. These are essentially like quest lists in Gran Turismo 7. The menu bucks give new objectives, and by completing them, you'll earn new cars fairly quickly and unlock all of the features in this game. From the beginning, when you first enter the world map, there'll only be the cafe, world circuits, and a second-hand car dealership. But as you start doing the menu books, you'll unlock local co-op, competitive multiplayer, the tuning shop, and photo scene mode. It might be a little bit slow at first, but if you're not a fan of the story mode that Gran Turismo 7 has, you can just skip all of the dialogue to speed things up. Number 2. Finish your licenses. Licenses become available to you fairly early in the game, and if it's not available for you just yet, just try completing more menu bucks and you'll unlock it soon enough. So what are licenses? They're basically really short challenges that teach you the fundamentals of racing. If you're new to racing, this is especially good for you. There are challenges that teach you about braking zones, how to go properly around a corner, and the more of these you complete, the harder they get, but eventually you'll be able to race like a pro. The licensed tiers range from B-Class to Super, and those high tier challenges can be pretty tricky, so don't jump straight onto the difficult ones, just try easing your way in. They can get pretty hard at times, but stick with it because they are definitely worth it, it means you can unlock more cars for you to buy, and the more cars you buy, the more parts you can buy in the tuning parts. Completing the challenges can place you in bronze, silver or gold, and the higher you place, the better the reward. Number 3. Give challenges a go. These are kind of like licenses, but they're a little more technical. Challenges ask for more specific criteria, and it can be things like overtake X number of cars in one corner move. Most of these challenges require you to use the skills you've learned in licenses in practice. Just like the licenses, you can place in bronze, silver or gold, and the higher you place, the more credit you earn, so give it your best shot. Number 4. Race and Championships If you've played this game already, you'd know that this game is all revolved around credits. If it's credits you're after, then you've got to race in the championships. It's a group of back-to-back -back racers that'll test you on multiple circuits. They'll take a little longer than the usual races, but for the credit, mm, definitely worth it. If you place first in all the championship races, you might earn yourself a whopping 35,000 credits, and for a mere 10 minutes, that's not too shabby at all. Number 5. Visit the Tuning Shop 
after an hour or two into the game, it gets quite difficult to place first, and one of the ways you can overcome this is to tune your car. If you're new to the game, you might not know the technical terms, and you might not know what part to add. But don't worry, Gran Turismo 7 makes this super easy for you to understand. You basically just look for parts that will increase your PP level, which stands for power points. Tune your car and you'll be winning races again in no time. Number 6. Should you go for ray tracing or frame rate mode? In Gran Turismo 7 there are two options you can race in. You can either favour ray tracing or favour frame rate. If you're looking to race in the best graphics that the PlayStation 5 can offer, then favour ray tracing. That's the mode you want to go for. The home reflections are to die for. But if you're looking to get that consistent 60 frames per second, then definitely use frame rate mode. It gives a much smoother experience, which is so important for console racing, and in my opinion, the graphics are nearly as good. Number 7. Tweak the assists At the beginning of the game, Gran Turismo 7 asks you to set up your difficulties and your assist settings. There's assistive turning, brakes, driving lines, and braking zone visual assists, all of which will help beginners get to grips with the game. If you didn't have the assists on in the beginning like me, feel free to just revisit those settings when it gets a little difficult, because there's no shame in that whatsoever. And there you have it, 7 tips and tricks for Gran Turismo 7. What do you think of the game so far? Make sure to check out our review in the comments and let us know your opinions, we genuinely enjoy listening to them. We've also got our video review on screen now if you want to check out some more gameplay and make up your own mind, so I'll catch you there! Yeah, sure, the small rumble of the controller does a great job at making you feel every bump in the road, but it's nowhere near as strong as the feedback you get from other PlayStation games like Uncharted Legacy of Thieves. And the last thing for me was just how much content there was. Yeah, I know, bear with me on this one, because of course it's great to have plenty of content, and it's always great to have more. I've been Sarah from Game Bite, and you've been wonderful. Catch you on the next one.